Hello viewers, Namaskar and welcome to the MOOC on Financial Markets and Services. I am Dr. Govindu Deka, Associate Professor of Kishnaganta Handiko State of University, Guwahati Assam, the coordinator of the course. The course Financial Markets and Services is a foundational course that provides students with essential knowledge and skills to navigate the complex world of finance. It is not just a course, it is a cornerstone of financial literacy and expertise essential for both professional success and personal financial well-being. The course holds paramount importance in the monarchy of finance and economics. By delving into the intricate workings of financial system, it equips students with indispensable knowledge and skills vital for various career paths in finance, banking and investment. Understanding financial markets, instruments and service not only facilitates uh, effective risk management and investment strategies, but also fosters a deeper comprehension on economic dynamics and global financial landscapes. Moreover, in an era marked by rapid technological advancements and globalization, this course provides invaluable insights into emerging trends such as fintech, and digital currencies, ensuring students are well prepared to navigate the ever-evolving financial landscape with proficiency and foresight. Regarding the objectives, this course aims to provide students with a solid foundation in finance, enabling them to understand analysis and navigate the complexities of financial markets and services effectively. One of the primary objectives of this course is to provide students with in-depth knowledge about the financial system. It aims to familiarize students with the structure, functions, and operations of various financial markets, including money markets, capital markets, derivative markets, and forex markets. This course aims to introduce students to a wide range of financial instruments and to elucidate their characteristics, evaluation methods, and risk pattern profiles. Another objective of the course is to examine the role and importance of financial intermediaries in facilitating the flow of funds between savers and investors. This course also aims to equip students with skills to identify measures and manage uh, various types of financial risks. This course targets to provide students with tools and frameworks for analyzing investment opportunities, constructing their diversified portfolios, and optimizing portfolio performance based on investment objectives, constraints, and risk performance. Another objective of the course is to develop an understanding of international financial systems. Moreover, it aims to explore the impact of technological advancement in financial system. Regarding the target group, this course is designed and developed for, the, uh, for both the learners of UG and PG programs. This course can be opted by any interested learners of 10 plus 2 level. The course has emphasized on prospective target groups of learners, including the fourth semester learners of MCOM program of the university, that is KK Hendrick State Open University. UGPG students of BCOM, BBA, MCOM, MBA programs for uh, other universities. People engaged in different services, businesses, and other professions who wish to update their knowledge on financial system. Young entrepreneurs who need specific knowledge in the field of finance and women learners who want to get empowered with financial literacy. This course has been designed on weekly content basis with four quadrant approach of its delivery. It has four credits, 15 modules and 14 units. Duration of the course is 15 weeks and medium of instruction is English. The contents of the modules are structured like this. Indian financial system, money market, capital market, mass and making, etc., etc. Every module have been designed with e-tutorials, e-text materials, unit-wise quiz questions, term and examinations, and synchronous and asynchronous interaction through a discussion forum. Regarding the assessment process, there will be two types of assessments, continuous assessment through MCQ, 30% weightage will be uh, given here, and term and examination conducted by NTA, 70% weightage will be uh, given in this assessment process. Regarding the certification, after successful completion of the course, the learners will be offered a certificate. 
a minimum of 40% passing marks are needed in internal and external assessments for being eligible for the certificate. So friends, let's come and join the course. Thank you.